Hey guys. Thanks for joining my show. My name is Sarah. This is Words of Divine Love. Happy Thursday. Um, happy fall. It's autumn. Um, it's now officially because it is summer is over. I'm getting out my fun spooky decorations early because I feel like we don't get to enjoy them uh, enough. <laughs> so now that it's officially, yeah, autumn, I put out some of my fun um, you guys kind of get cut off on here that I have like all my little like random toys and stuff right here. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, wow, the full moon, boom, let's talk about that. That was a full moon in Pisces. Pisces, wow, Pisces is a deep, deep, deep emotional sign. Uh, and a full moon in Pisces means that we went deep, deep, deep into ourselves, deep, deep, deep down into the darkness of ourselves, to the deepest places of things that we have hidden from ourselves. And we pulled those things up into the light. The energy of the Pisces moon pulled um, pulled that up into the light. Spirit just told me to take the headphones off, sir. Um, for that to be exposed and seen, so that we could um, heal those aspects of ourselves or integrate those aspects of ourselves, right? Um, understanding that your shadow self isn't just negative things about yourself. It's things that you personally perceived as negative based on maybe people's even responses to um, maybe you saying um, as a child that you could see spirit or speak to spirit, right? Maybe somebody um, didn't encourage that in you, right? Or people told you it was weird. So you put that as part of your deep shadow self that you decided to never speak about because that was um, unacceptable, right? So some for some people, it's shining a light on things like that and, and, and bringing up rejections of um, the positive side of your shadow self. So it's like, just like we have a light body and... Um, so our light energy and a dark energy within us, with even within our shadow self is the positive and the negative shadows, right? So we have these shadow aspects, things of ourselves, um, like the example I was giving, such as like psychic gifts that we've tucked away because it didn't seem normal or okay. The other day someone said to me, um, they show me things, but I don't have visions in the sense that other people have visions. Um, and someone asked me why I couldn't see. And I said, because at some point at a child in childhood, I told someone I could see spirit and someone told me that that wasn't real or, uh, you know, made me believe that that wasn't a thing. And even though I've come this far in my journey and I know, um, that spirit is real and spirit is all around me, I still somewhere hold that core belief, um, deep in my shadow where I hide that aspect of myself, of my ability to um, have vision and have uh, dreams and things like that, right? See my dreams, past lives and things like that, right? It's like we have these shadow aspects that hide. Oof. Yeah, I'm getting like <laughs> the spiritual like willies. <clears throat> I'm also feeling like a discomfort like in my stomach. I don't know if someone else is feeling that. It doesn't feel like my energy, but like it really hurts like under my stomach area that could be tied into the solar plexus right um fear energy um something uh, like a loss of power a situation or um something where you um have given away your power right so pisces has brought these things up for you you're probably still working through some of them depending on um how deep that you went in this full moon but it's uh, you know when pisces full moon comes around it really does pull us to those places to expose these parts of ourselves that we've hidden right but pisces like uh, the emotion runs runs deep in pisces too right the love runs deep in pisces and it's a good time for us to be remembering as we're bringing up these old aspects of self that we previously perceived as negative or wrong if you're looking at the evil eye like or evil
right? It's like that's not, um, it's it, it, you're not evil or crazy or any of those things that people may have shared with you. For somebody, this is about releasing spiritual gifts. Like this is, feels like a personal message. It may be for a few people, but it just it feels like a bit of a personal message, right? Like I'm really touching. Um, I've been really focusing on this the entire time I've been reading. I just I couldn't stop looking at this. Um, yeah, it's about releasing beliefs around um, around your gifts. You know that your gifts are inherently evil or bad. Someone may have taught you that. Society may have taught you that. It's a part of you that you have suppressed for a really long time that's meant to come forth and shine now. Right? It's time to bring those things up and let go of limiting beliefs that keep you from being able to use all of the um, abilities that you were given in this lifetime. When we release past shame and guilt, we free ourselves. And there's a lot of people in the collective holding shame and guilt around spiritual gifts. It, it could be um, even related to past life situations, right? How you've used your ability in past life situations. So I have involuntary movement and I cannot stop touching <laughs> everything about this. I don't know if somebody else even has one of these. Just why anyway. Maybe somebody just needs to see it. I don't know, but I'm really focused on this during this reading. As I'm kind of like in my trance, or I'm just very, spirit's very interested in this. All right, spirit saying, there's nothing to fear in releasing your limiting beliefs around this. Nothing bad is going to happen to you when you allow in. The, when you allow in the idea, no, I don't know how to say what you're trying to say to me. When you're open to allow and receive um, and activate the, the gifts and abilities within you as you were meant to, it's like you live more freely, more peacefully, more, it's very nice energy. <laughs> it's very nice. Happy, happily, bliss. it's a very blissful energy. It's so nice. Right? There's nothing to fear in that. There's nothing to fear in that. I hear for a lot of the collective, it's spirits just saying, let go. Like, it's time to just let go. Um, allow those old um, limiting beliefs um, to crumble, you know, like the tower. I see a huge tower moment for a lot of people. Epiphanies coming up. This Pisces full moon is really has pulled those things up. And remember, energies of the full moon can last up to six days after, right? And just this time of the year even is very transformative. There's going to be a lot of changes um, coming up for us, right? We're going through that period of time of transformation. I've been talking about this since March, like end of February, March. That over, Like over the six month time period that we were going to go through this huge transition right and then we have this period of time of integration right and kind of like leveling up right opening up to a better understanding really kick-starting the things that we've been trying to get going for ourselves right feeling more peaceful feeling more excited for what's to come and that's a really beautiful energy it's a really beautiful energy Right, there's a lot of happiness and excitement. Spirit, it's like it's a time right now, like to rest. I think I, I said this last week in one of my readings. It's 
we're being called to like rest and relax and recharge. Like we've been through a lot. We've learned a lot. Um, it's a time to allow ourselves to heal from all of the things that have came up during the last six months, because truly in the last six months, we have been changing so much. I guarantee if you spend a few moments really thinking about who you were six months ago and who you are right now, you'll realize um, you're a very different person, but it happened sort of subtly that maybe you didn't acknowledge that for yourself. So make sure that you do take time to um, reflect on all of the positive changes that you've made and how that you redefined the way that you um, see things, right? And how you have started manifesting more positive things for yourself. I know a huge thing for me that's shifted is how I speak to myself inside my mind and especially how I speak to myself inside my mind when I'm going through times of crisis. And um, I give myself a lot of like, um, compassion and understanding instead of going into any kind of negative talk. I'm like, okay, this is what's happened. And that's terrible. And like, I talk to my, my, my inner child, right. And my inner self and just give, give my inner being love and support. You know, I'm here for you. I see you. I hear you. I support you. I love you unconditionally, no matter what, what do you need from me? Right. And a lot of times our inner self, our inner child just wants us just to listen. Right. And know that it's safe to express. Right. Reminding yourself you are safe. You are safe. Right. So that's really beautiful. For, so for some people, it's just going within and integrating your inner child, your inner self and who you are now in the physical. Right. And coming into that wholeness. And that's so beautiful. I'm going to continue talking about this on my facebook page words of divine love i usually go live by at the latest 9 p.m eastern and um yeah i'll see you guys there thank you so much